from two separate directions. You want to donate sperm or eggs and you and you want to be known, you go into one pool of okay. people and you want to remain anonymous, you go in the other. And then it's the choice of the people seeking that sperm and those eggs to decide which pool they want to take this out of. I, I think that that's, that's a good compromise position is to allow for a two-track system. And the situation is different and individualized for each recipient, for each donor, and each offspring. So we really need to not have a one-size-fits-all model. Would you go for that, Kathleen? I think anonymous donation is going to stop entirely because my concern is that it transfers the loss of experience by parents to the infertility mm -hmm. to the children who are not taking that access to have their families. So I think only that is an energy. So, so it, it works in your mouth. You're saying this is somewhat of a vicious cycle then. I think it's just a transferring of the loss at the grade. Um, is this a case where technology, again, has outstripped our ability to handle, handle some of the emotional issues that go along with technology? Well, I think we are just starting to think about those. And I think for everyone who can involved.